today we will talk about the workspace here of the developer console of Salesforce where my cursor is. Um, so um, workspace is just to um, organize your developer console. If you work with multiple components, multiple Apex classes, uh, this is the workspace. I um, zoomed it out so you could see um, the menu here. You had a workspace. You can switch between workspaces. You can create a new space. You have to rename the current workspace. You have to. Uh, uh, you can uh, uh, go to workspace manager. Um, so this is a workspace manager here. So we have a default workspace. Right now I have two Apex classes. For example, you work on multiple uh, work items in the same project. I mean, in the same org. You do not misunderstand this workspace has nothing to do with your org. It's not s switching between Salesforce organization. This is a this is um, least misunderstood uh, feature of the developer console. Um, you, it is just to avoid the cluttering of your Salesforce developer console. Um, this is, let's see, um, I'm going to create a new um, workspace in which I want to work in, uh, on a, another Apex class. So I'm, I don't want to bring it here. I mean, this, I mean, you have multiple, many, many classes or, uh, yeah, or multiple um, aura components. And then, so what you can do is you create a new workspace. Create, let's see, workspace one. So I have the workspace one here. You go here, you, um, you see the UI in workspace one, there's yet nothing here. If you go to default workspace, uh, default workspace is the one you have, you inherit. So it has two classes. Um, so you switch to your workspace one here, you create it, you, you can, you say any name you want. I want to open a different uh, uh, Apex class. This one here. Let's see. So I'm working on convert to string collection here. Uh, EI, for example, I added a comment here. I test, I save it. Now uh, it is saving here. Now look, I want to switch to the uh, other workspace. So I need to work on the other two files, right? Other two classes. You go to default workspace, you can see here. You can work on that. So that you can add multiple workspaces like workspace two. You are in workspace two now here. In workspace two, I'm going to work on a another different classes site login controller and then it's a test class I'm going to, so there's no cluttering here um, you can switch between uh, workspaces here uh, otherwise you get here a lot of tabs here and then it's hard to move um, back and forth uh, not many people use this or know this is future. This is the workspace um, feature of the developer console. I want to tell you again, this has nothing to do with the Salesforce instance, uh, instances. So you're not switching between Salesforce instances. This is just, uh, um, you, this is just a view of uh, developer console in which you have your classes, your uh, tabs, your test uh, che checkpoint, core editor, and then 
problems, uh, uh, these steps, you can um, organize yourself in multiple drawers in, in real world scenario. That's how you use the uh, workspace feature. Um, you can even rename the current uh, workspace. You can switch these a new, you go to workspace manager to see how many workspaces you here. You can delete if you want. I want to delete it as two, so I can delete here. Yeah, I can um, open here. So yeah, I, I'm already there. This is the workspace feature of the developer console. Yeah. 